what's going on guys jada black here salute to everyone tuning in we're going to talk about aisha curry it's been a minute since i talked about aisha curry i don't have an obsession with her i can go days weeks and months without speaking about her but i'm speaking about her now because apparently she regrets her comments that she made on the red table talk because those comments is what really launched aisha curry into a lot of discussions you know that clip has been widely seen and spoken about i've spoken about it it has been a talking point but i think it's a real talking point and i think that she see she saw the reaction excuse me from that years later and now she's regretful of it and she's saying that she's regretful of it but i do think at the end of the day this was something that she wanted I think Aisha Curry wanted to be open up and be honest about how she felt. She felt like she she felt less than in her marriage as far as notoriety and fame is concerned. And she's not the only wife of an athlete who feels this way. There are other wives of athletes who feel the same way. You know, they want more people to know who they are. They want more people to want to speak to them and they want groupies right and she has to understand that you know her husband played in the nba plays in the nba so of course he's going to have more fans he's going to have more people showing him more attention he's going to have the heifers going at you know trying to get at him because that's what happens when you're a professional athlete especially when you're a married one because we all know the love western women have for married men that ain't theirs right and I think that Aisha saw the reaction over the years. And I, I think that, you know, this was her time to sort of wipe the slate clean and say, oh, I regret that. I don't think she really, truly regrets it. I think she just regrets the reaction that she got from people, which was a real one. You know, you're a woman who's in a position that a lot of other women would love to be in. Married to an NBA player. You have a family with them right and you want more because i told y'all western women never have enough they never have enough they could have everything they've ever wanted and still have a hole in their soul that's western women they can never have they can never have enough that's why their relationships fail they're always searching for more that's why you see divorces because women are leaving their marriages because they think more is out there, but it isn't, you know, they still single at the end of the day. They still ain't replaced the guy that they had because they thought that they needed more, right? Women have destroyed their families in order to go searching for it. They've blown through their money to search for it and it ain't there. They've gone to get surgeries. They still haven't found that thing that they're missing because what's missing is internally. It's in their, their mentality, how they were raised. You know, the self-confidence just isn't there. And I could say that with Aisha Curry. She's a woman who I think still is deeply insecure. Uh, you would say, why, you know, why would she, you know, she's not a bad looking woman. She's gotten herself in really good shape. Why would she be insecure? Well, it's because she's always wanted to be a star. She's always wanted to have the level of fame that Steph has, and she hasn't had that, even though she's well known, but she's well known as Steph's wife. And I think that when she was on Red Table Talk, I think she revealed that. She revealed that she was tired of just being Steph's wife. She wants to have an identity of her own. She wants to have her own fans. And I, I just don't think she truly regrets, you know, her feeling that way. She regrets the reaction to her feeling this way, which most people especially most women tend to be right when they get a strong reaction from their comments they want to backtrack and make it seem like oh it's jada pinkett's fault jada pinkett gave you the platform to go on there and say the things right that you said i don't think you know not nah, i didn't you know the conversation could have been pushed by jada we all know that jada is not somebody you should go to for any type of advice that woman hates being will smith's wife okay she's with him because she can benefit more from being with him than not being with him and she knows this and he knows this 
and they have a dynamic where neither wants to get a divorce. Will doesn't want to get a divorce because he doesn't want to have to split his assets. She don't want to get divorced because let's be real. Who's checking for Jada Pinkett Smith. If we were talking 15 years ago, then we'd have a discussion, but not Jada Pinkett Smith now. Okay. I think a lot of guys are not even going to try to go that route and we'll see where things go with her and Steph, right? Steph is still an active player. What happens when Steph starts to seek retirement? You know, a lot of these women be ready to leave once these guys get retired. <laughs> so let's get into what, let's get into what she had to say. Made me sound crazy. Aisha Curry regrets talk show appearance. No, she regrets the reaction from her talk show appearance. I don't think she truly regrets it. Aisha Curry opened up about social media scrutiny, second thoughts about her daughter Riley's high profile moments and more in a recent interview with Insider. The feature centers around Curry's a step back from the spotlight after years of being one of the NBA's most famous family members during her husband Steph Curry's ascendance with the Warriors. Aisha became a common presence on talk shows and she told Insider that a wretched experience on Jada Pinkett Smith's Facebook show, Red Table Talk, soured her on the exposure. Uh, on a May 2019 episode of the talk show, Curry shared how she felt, how she dealt with female fans approaching her husband. Steph is a very nice by nature and he's very talkative, obviously. You know, the devil is a liar. The ladies will always be lurking, hoping for their moment and waiting. You need to be aware of that. She said at the time, I honestly hate it. We had the conversation about it and he tries really, really hard. If we're going somewhere, I don't like to have to introduce myself. Now, Curry says she deeply was deceptively edited by the show in a way that made me sound crazy. N no, no. <laughs> Aisha, are you serious? Come on, man. You was deep. You were edited. No, Aisha. You said exactly what was on your mind, Aisha. It's not what I said in the context was weird. She added, yeah, I took that one personally. I wonder, did she help get that show canceled? Did, did you help get the Red Table Talk canceled? <laughs> Aisha, <laughs> because you, it, it, it's funny how once the show gets canceled off Facebook, now she's making these comments. I mean, Aisha, it's been what, four years since that show and you haven't said anything. You're saying it now. You could have said this years ago. Curry also expressed regret about how public her older daughter Riley's life once was. Riley now 10 became a national darling in 2015 while her dad Steph was on his way to his first NBA title. She sat on his lap during a post game press conference, grabbed a mic to sing songs and fell asleep during the trophy presentation. Uh, when social media things started, nobody knew what that was going to become. Curry said, if we had known back in the day, just how chaotic it would make life. I don't think we would have done it, but we were just genuinely living our lives back then. And we thought this is our kid. We're bringing our kid along. I mean, a lot of athletes do that. Y'all see a lot of these athletes in these post game press conferences, you know, they bring their children, you know, to the post game. I mean, that's, that's typically what you've seen over the years at the, at the trophy presentations on the field or on the court, they have their families with them, right? Um, I think that 2015 social media, it was getting there. You know, Instagram was a big thing. Twitter was already a big thing. Facebook, uh, there was no TikTok, right? Snapchat might've been around 2015 ish. I'm not sure. I've never used Snapchat, but, uh, social media was still a thing. All right. Things didn't go instantly viral, but you know, when you posting something on ESPN sports center, it's going to be seen by millions of people. It's going to be seen, by, but that's not anything, you know, um, out of the ordinary. I mean, athletes bring their kids 
to the post game. It's, it's not anything uh, that is new. It's what they do. Curry told Inside that she and her husband don't allow their kids, Riley, Ryan, and Cannon, to have their own cell phones in order to limit what they can read about themselves and their families online. A lot of parents should do this. I think more parents should not give their children cell phones and social media. Absolutely. See, the, the, you know what's crazy? Is that society and the government wants to raise your children. Okay. Look at all the weird stuff going on in our society now and what they're trying to make acceptable for children. And you see how Steph and Aisha wants to raise their kids. I, I, I really think that, you know, look at their party affiliations and the people that they support. They want the opposite. They want to indoctrinate children. You know, that's the funny thing. She, she wants to protect her kids from social media, but the party that she supports want to indoctrinate children to use this social media. Uh, I think, I think parents should be more protective of what their kids see. Right. But let's be real. Aisha made those comments. We cannot overlook that. She made the comments. Okay. We can't sit here and try to sugarcoat things. Aisha, you made those comments. You said what you said. You said what you said. You want to have the level of fame weren't this didn't aisha curry want to be an actress once before she wanted to be an actress that didn't work out she did the cooking thing i don't you know it is what that is she wants fame she well i'm gonna say wants it she wanted this she wanted that at that moment that's what she wanted now maybe she's changed her tune but again aisha's not old <laughs> we'll see what the next couple of years hold okay we will see but i just think that aisha has to understand you made those comments okay nobody edited you you said what you said aisha you know what you said and what you said was that you know you want some attention to you want groupies too you want people to want to come up to you and take pictures and maybe get your phone number and you know what i'm saying you you want that right <laughs> that's what nobody edited nobody listen nobody manipulated it now again if she had a conversation with jada maybe the original uh conversation was different than what was put out there but why would you wait four years to say that why would you wait four years is it because you think that jada's a pos too <laughs> maybe she's like you know what f jada I'm going public to say that, you know what? Your show made me look bad. That's what it looks like. It looks to me like she's basically saying, I don't, I don't deal with Jada. I don't, I don't think she's a good person. That's how this come across. This come across as her basically saying that, you know, Jada played me. Of course she did. Jada Pinkett used her own husband for views. What do you think that she's going to do for the people? She did the same thing with Jordan, with um, Jordan Woods. She used Jordan Woods for, for views. That's the type of person Jada Pinkett Smith is. I don't know why people think differently. I think people are starting to see it now. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see y'all next one.